Man. Why play Dauntless when you have Elden Ring to play? I know, right? Elden Ring is way Nikki? better. Yeah, yeah. My foundry is doing something fucky. It is your... Uh, it, is your... It, it's hardware acceleration one. It should be. I haven't turned it off. I think about hardware acceleration. Yeah, it's on, but it's just Foundry is at a blank gray screen. Yeah, no, no that's no, the same with me. As well. It's just loading right now. We gotta maybe refresh it when Nikki gives us the word. Uh, I would fucking refresh. I, I've I already refreshed and reopened the page. It just keeps doing Is it doing done the same updating? I oh, it's updating on our end. Don't worry about it. Just refresh the page and see. Give All it like right. five minutes. I, I refresh the application. Huh. All right. Technical difficulties. What happened? Uh, it crashed. Ah. Ah. Yeah. We're good now. There we go. Oh, that should fix it. We are bad. Technical difficulties are wrong. Sometimes oh, yeah. forget my own outlets. XD. Welcome back to Deal Breakers. Now, the last time we left off, you guys fought Merveil, one of the few that apparently he could not uh, wait. Well. Now. You are standing in the middle of the Deadlands. Are all of you loaded? No. Um, trying I... it <laughs> again. Sorry. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. Oh. Oh, there it is! There she goes. And, uh, do we know where Fizzle is, by the way? I'm here. I'm I'm still loading. <laughs> Give me a second. Well, Fizzle's right here. You mean Evelope? I had Jaunty. I meant Jaunty. Alright. Well, <sighs> Fizzle's right here. Oh I know, god, I my, meant, X, I... my X key is stuck. <laughs> I meant Jaunty, Soviet. Yeah. I know. I'm fucking with you. Alright, there we go. There we go. Yeah, we're still in the fucking mirror realm. I just remembered that. We're not in the mirror we're... realm. We're in the Deadlands. We're going yeah, back to the deadline. mirror realm. Yeah, because we wanted to fuck up the bunch of people who were staring at us a little funny. So, yeah. I have a question for the entire party. Yeah. yeah. Do we have any problem killing... Do we have any qualms with killing the first Asvarian since we were asked to? Black girl? Yes. No, I don't have a problem. Uh... Denzel? I, I mean, I... What's the stake in this again? Uh... Wait a minute. Bitch we're... asshole who's betrayed other Asvarians. So. Okay. He also fucking stupid. Yeah. <laughs> my lowest, my low of charisma druid managed to trick him into falling for a trap. Bruh. Okay, maybe we should kill him. Yeah. 
So, okay, cool. Then that loose thread with the arrow last session is uh, now completed. We'll finish that the next time we get to play on fucking Tuesdays. If we ever get that game back. We will. Eh. Right. I thought you guys were wanting to do that right now. I was like, oh god. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. We're, we're, we're gonna set up that, we're gonna set up that trap. All right, sounds good. Yeah, this this was all them. part of a plan. The plan, man. Man, I love playing Room World and just seeing uh, in the top right co left corner, Grumbo Pimp is fully healed. Why is he a pimp? We made him like that. Remember? All right. Oh okay. God. Okay. Back to D and D, please. Yeah, <laughs> let's go back to D and D. <laughs> all right. Okay. Oh, as you all are here, Jade will sit on the floor. Mm. Well, I'll, I'll we're, we're just we're uh, just waiting. Indeed, Ash Ashleil, is it? Yes. Hmm. Ah, it's just your name. Sounds familiar to me. Uh. Um. I. Uh, my father and mother were part of the army for quite some time. About. A ways after the or during the war, they decided to found my the town I am from, which I think you met my daughter, Nevera. Uh, yeah, in Lunavale, right? Yes, my family founded that town. Ah, okay, and but I it also used met to, the school. It used to be a safe haven for Asvarians. Used to be. Um, during the war, Urien decided to uh, take and get rid of all Asvarians. And that's yeah. when the massacre happened. And started I... it. You were... Pr um, anyways, their names were Tyriel and... Ah, Selenia. Make me a history check with advantage. Alright, okay. Double that ones, come on. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck <laughs> is wrong with you? <laughs> double, du double fucking twos. Well, okay. Holy so know... shit, dude. <laughs> I called it, I called it. No. Technically, my birthday is in two days. Can I use my birthday dice? <laughs> That's no. not how it works. No. So it has to be next week. Yes. <laughs> Shit, ah, that fucking. Fine. That fucking. All right. So the I, the I first roll was for one of them. Try it again. Okay. <laughs> Thirteen. Man, I'm rolling bad. All right. That was a nat one. Tyrius name or a uh, Selenia's name is a little bit off to you. You don't know much of uh, that one, but Tyrius, he was a general. Uh, general Tyrius Arion was a uh, very pronounced uh, Asvarian soldier. For the longest time until he founded the uh village you know what village they're talking about uh, you you've been there once but that was like with this party but you heard about it during the war you didn't want anything to do with it because you just wanted to be a part of the war obviously i i probably with you know, when I got, uh, like, really badly, I probably would have forgotten maybe key details during the war because of, uh, 
the one battle where I got knocked unconscious. So maybe, maybe so, like it's just stuff is fuzzy for me. This is Tyrus. Is it uh, T Y R A S? I U S. I. Oh, strange. Ah, that's why. Huh? One moment. A little bit of technical difficulties. We're right back. <laughs> I'm all, I, I'm not surprised that that's ah, gonna happen. Now it's working. Ah, okay. Yeah. So that's what that meant. Like Tyrus. Looking He's technically not right head. there. I, it's just an easier way to show you guys the art, yeah. what he looks like. At least for me. So <laughs> this uh, strong man, he uh, he led a lot of the armies for a long time alongside uh, Legarel as well as a few others. Now, Legarel, uh, and now you finally remember something. Legarel had a brother. One that was also one of the first ones. It was, he was like the first one after the changes. And you, the name slipped you for the longest time. But you now remember. It's... It was Tyrus. Oh, I want the goth veil music. There we go. Indeed. Whoosh. You I bet you weren't expecting that. <laughs> you think with uh, kind of me remembering that, do you think I could maybe re-roll the uh, other, just like one of the other rolls for the seven, the two two, uh, <laughs> see if maybe I could uh, negative, negative. negative. You are not uh, allowed to re-roll. You don't know much. You won't know much about Selenia, but you got enough to remember stuff. It wasn't a high DC check. Um. I don't remember much of Selenia, but I knew that I knew about Tyrus his uh, accolades and stuff. Yeah, my father was really something. Uh, he actually is the one who trained my brother, but refused to train me. Interesting. Did you... uh, who's your brother? Um. Tiden. You, you've I, met I, him already. He brought you here. Yeah, uh, I, I was just confirming. I... He goes by Tedin. His real name is Sethric. Sethric. Do you yeah. have any idea what's taking so long? Uh, I'm sure he's still watching. I mean, I was just going to let you guys RP it out until you were done. I'm pretty sure we good. Mm hmm. Yeah, okay. Uh, then you'll see Tiden basically ah. just walk out of space. Okay, I fixed it. I, I don't know why I'm still having token issues. Oh, this is. By the way, this is the first time I've actually seen Tiden. Yes, sir. It, like, I, Ghost, have seen Tiden. Oh, cause yeah, you yeah. kept missing. Cause you kept yeah. missing every time he was here. Holy shit! Cause well, you had to like, you had to like help your brother out the one time. Go pick someone. I uh, like go pick him up or something. And then like another time, you're like, I have to leave like thirty minutes in. So you never <laughs> met him during those times you were gone. <laughs> Seems like you uh, six had an eventful time without me. It was nice to get a workout. You don't get up to do much after you got the keep, huh? No. I mean, my daughter does take care of the keep pretty well, as well as the guild. But 
We don't get out much, much less visit, well, other than visiting you. So. What? Before we leave, we should probably dispose of that corpse, seeing as though it, they are a servant of a death god. I'll just pick up the corpse and take it with me. <laughs> okay. What? No! Wait, I, wait, no! no I, I can burn it! I can burn it! Okay. Why are you taking the... <laughs> because Levestus can just eradicate it? What do you mean? <laughs> it seems much better to let a different god who's used to handling souls deal with it as opposed to just killing... Well... Bodies have links to the souls is all I will say. And considering that Vyara is a god of death, burning the body won't really do much if she just wants the soul. Trust oh, me. I, I have so Sunbeam pre uh, prepared. I can some Sunbeam it. You, you also forget I killed him. That means uh, there is no longer a soul attached to that body. It is currently gone. Why would I forget that? It's a husk. But it's still a corpse or a vessel. Yeah, we'll stick with us. Alright, and join hands together. You know the drill. Uh, you fight well, Samurai. Yeah, you guys, you guys join joined hands, everyone, if you want to get teleported, because I can't... I'm not going back and forth. Yeah, I mean, of course. Uh, uh, Evelo, I have to move myself. Yeah, I know. I'm looking at more cat. Nick. Nick. Oop. Uh, I guess him. Nick's not here. Are we taking the ogres <laughs> with us? Oh, they don't what despawn for a little. Skeleton lo boy. Oh. What happened oh, to yeah. the skeleton? Uh, Dragonborn skeleton. They uh, died. Rattles. They got yeah, demolished. Rattles. Rattles was in the mansion when it collapsed. Rattles died a long a time pile, ago. It was a pile of bones. Yeah. He 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 hit the dirt. Shut the fuck up, Nick. You goddamn it. <laughs> oh, did anyone else just found you just cash? No, never mind. I was just having a moment. Silver bowls? I that sounds familiar. That's, oh, that's uh, free Oreos. Yeah. Uh so Son. Sister or something. So Hotto's Hotto's brother and um Fiore's son. Ah, okay. yeah. And yes, those are my sister's characters. And I, I Silver Reed seemed to know. Yeah. I think that's I don't think that's her name. Yeah, she's a stone. Because she's playing her other character. That's uh, she has this whole head cannon. It's hilarious. She wants her characters to marry. <laughs> no, that's not allowed. <laughs> and that's the unfortunate part. She doesn't realize <laughs> it, it will implode both of their souls. Yeah. Okay, she's working with two halves of a soul, anyways. Um, you notice that all the mirrors are still black as you Game pause. arrive back. Nick. Yes. Make a game paused. Yeah, I did that on purpose to blacken the screen. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, well, Levestus, would you be a deer and get rid of this corpse in a permanent way? Ba, 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 ba. I need this for a moment. Fuck, I haven't used this oh. in forever. I Five feel like ever. this is a trap. Oh, God. Trap? No, I'd never purposely lead you into a trap. I have a feeling this is a trap as well. Oh, my God. No. Why? Why did you do that? Very smart. Mother.
Oops. All right. Sorry. Motherfucker. It's all good. Okay. As the blackened mirrors continue to stay completely fogged up, you hear laughter in the background. I knew it. It's. I fucking knew it. Sorry. Spot's loading up. <laughs> Why do you need... Can I... There's a good reason for it. Um... Hey, DP. Uh, we're currently in Lavesis's mirror realm, and... Man. spells back now. Oh, it's uh, fine. Well. Don't worry about it. We won't perish. Yet. You've you disturbed my slumber. I knew it! It's disrupting the rest. You're cutting oh, out, Nikki. Boy. Last thing we heard was your ones. You're the ones disrupting my rest. And disrupting those. Pure of my slumber. Oh, uh, I would like to summon my Echo. Alright. Oh, this is bad. I'm tired of all of these fucking gods having a problem with us. <laughs> no god. No gods. <sighs> no farseers. <sighs> oh. And this Actually, is probably not even an aberration either, because... You Go see ahead. large tentacles reach out of the mirrors and grab the two ogres. Ah, I'm backing away! Get away from the mirrors. No shit. I'm gonna run up and grab Fizzle. the corpse and also. Lovestis is going to sigh. Fizzle. Uh, I'm gonna head up uh, 30 feet. Your echo the needs to be here. The echo, boy is here. The prettiest. Uh <laughs> Shit's going down. Let's I feel like you changed the art we were using for it because this is definitely like a pretty boy now. Yeah. Like, I, I don't just, like this one fucking bit. You. Keaton was supposed to be a gruff old man, and now. <laughs> I know. Go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. I I know, but this isn't this isn't technically you. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. It's, it's a joke. Yeah. Um, Levesis will stare at the mirrors for a moment as you see the tentacles writhe out more um he will reach into his coat pull out a book and flip through pages quickly while stepping back everyone get back away from the mirrors probably not the best time to be doing some light reading right now i'm finding something like, uh, just like sh Cartoonishly stretches is like I'm joking, but um no he's he's getting back. Uh, how how tall is the building? Um, it's infinite. I, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna fly thirty feet up. Uh, also, question: Is 
Silvio just covered in a barrier, or is that like a shield? There, yeah. touch it and you'll die. Touch it and you will also become part of what they are. They are in ah. stasis. Okay. All right. Levestis will stop in his book. Um. Shakar Valar, Aladun. And you will see a bright light now off of, of Lavestus. And. Couldn't see well enough already? Had the well, right I right mean, here? technically at this very moment, you're all blind. Die now. After a boat. I mean, I could probably see out of my crystal eye, not my normal eye. It's crystal, wouldn't it just make it brighter? No. And as the This is good. As your vision returns to you. It seems like everything is back to normal, somewhat. The mirrors are no longer- the mirrors are still there, they're no longer blackened. But now there is crystals everywhere, floating, almost. Can I grab one? You grabbed- you tr attempt to grab it, and your hand goes through it. Oh, they great. Seem Ghost to, crystals. But when you grab at it, you watch it just start moving away as if you pushed it away. Hmm. Pass. And Levestis is unconscious. Oh, okay. boy. Okay. Somebody I'm tend to him for me. Yes. Uh, I'm a medicine check, please. All right. Uh, time to check my spells. <laughs> I'm gonna roll. I'm just oh, standing guard. Just they're is breathing. This a good, uh, is this a good time let, to let, like? Let me try that. That's nope. They're breathing. They are. In they do be breathing though. Uh, is this a good time to be able to like um, prepare spells and whatnot? Or that's done after a long rest, I believe. Long oh. rest. Uh, uh going... you guys are in a safe space right now. There's nothing happening. That was just I'm going... a, uh... I'm Spons going to pick up Levestus, and I'm going to no. drag him over to his familiar. Uh, don't... Please don't move him, but I am... I'm... I am picking him up and bringing him to the familiar. And setting the familiar, him down on the ground. The familiar will open its jaws and pick up Levestus and put him on his back. I'm gonna say, if he ate some, I'm blaming you. I'm in, I'm in, there I'm is in. nothing I can do right now. Does he normally do this every once in a while? First time in here. Why when what exactly was that? Yeah, and why? Uh, he has a spell written down that is in his spell book. That doesn't answer the question. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Therefore, I do not know what he did. Uh, I would like to cast Detect Magic. The... Damis is glowing. And Levestis's pockets are glow- are like, there's glows coming out of his many pockets on his, like, nice suit. Uh, I assume this man probably has a number of magical enchantments, and then- Literally a god. Yeah. Uh, what I'm trying to focus on is- Oh, the and this is magic. Are. Oh, the crystals? What kind of, what um, kind of school faintly. magic they are, too. Faintly. Uh, school of magic? Unknown. It... Oh. You'd have to examine the crystal. No, no, there. 
I don't have to examine the crystal. This is not magic of this world. Well, of Narakov, at least. I assume that Demis is writing it, radiating what conjuration magic. Yes. Lovestis's pockets are radiating um, some of the same inner, some of the same as the crystals, as well as illusion and evocation. Evocation and evocation. Okay. All right. There's actually like a lot of evocation. Okay. Well, that just seems to be fun. Let's uh, deal with the body or two. My zombies. <laughs> <laughs> DP is here. I know he is. But he's also oh, to jail. That was frightening. Uh, burn it or radiate. Fire doesn't work on their kind. On oh, now. Holy magic might. Dwarf. I'm gonna at least grab some blood from him so we can take it to the dock. I already grabbed it. Okay. It's in the soul condenser. It's like the first thing I did. Fine. Uh, Let me see. You um, know what? I'll take a slice at it with, um... With, why uh, not hammer it? Tonight. Charged hammer, divine smite it. Holy shit. I actually want to see the this, body honestly. Into a, into a paste. Just oh, turn him into sweet paste. Oh, look. I mean, spaghetti, technically, he's spaghetti being... Spaghetti sauce missed. Okay. Uh, Te technically, he would be... It, yes, he you he and your 1% magic. <sighs> you guys will probably... You guys can take long rests in this place. We can. Really, no. Can. Can. Right. And can. Can you do that? Can, can. Um, and, well. Well, that means I get to uh, prepare my spells then. Shit. Yeah, no, I'll take a long rest. <laughs> All right, oh, Molthak. Well. You want to start schwacking. All right, well, it's going to take a... So, charged? Yep. Yeah. I'm going to... Go ahead and just unprepare all my spells, Oops. so then I can. Sorry, them. my bad. They're a dead corpse. They auto fail that strength check. Uh, so it should be charged. And spell book, divine smite. We're gonna cast it at level one for now. That way, I can save my higher end slots. Oh, you're about to take, take a week. long rest. You can waste yeah. a, uh, waste a bigger slot. Yeah. All right, then um. Okay, it's time to go over my level. spells again and figure out. Third level, cast spell. So attack. Well, do I need to do an attack roll? Um, it's a corpse now. Just roll me your damages, and then I'll tell you what so, happens. <laughs> normal. That's sixteen mm -hmm. and a damage for just normal smite. Yep. Or do you want me to do versatile? Uh. uh... This thing is undead. Versatile. Oof. That I'm never going to get used to that. It's plenty enough to destroy that corpse. Alright. First of all, first thing that happens, you smash into the hammer, radiating extreme light. Uh, the body fucking explodes. <laughs> and then explodes into ashes everywhere like you turn him to ash and then now everything is dust <laughs> just made a dust cloud yeah maybe that was a little too much <laughs> uh but James body gonna cough and move back oh my gee oh my goodness that was that's what i was expecting um, let's say dwarf. Mm. 
Um, you're an acquired blacksmith, yes? Yes, I am. Uh. Um, Tiden, you can give them a task. I'm gonna give them one of my own. Huh? What? She is going to, um, take, uh, you notice that she's never, she may wear, she wears plate, or breastplate, like, decent armor, mm -hmm. and her wings are always out, much like Tiden's. But you notice that she's never worn a weapon. She doesn't have any weapons on her. But you've noticed that on her back, she's always had this wrapped up uh, rectangular Blade? object. And uh, hmm. she now takes it off and hands it to you. This is... This is my family's sword. This is the... Holy... Wait, did you already add it, or am I looking at something else? You're about... Oh, you, uh, you're about to give it. It's okay. called the Heirloom of Warriors. It is passed down through my generation, or from my father, all the way down to me, and soon to be to my uh, daughter. But is it, it has been shattered in pieces. You wish for me to reforge it? Yes. And she will hand you the box. Alright, well, I'm going to need to do an inspection check on it. Yes, make me a smithing tools check. A smithing tool check, okay. Yep. Um, yeah. Make me a smith tools so, check. Use smithing tools. You want me to roll with advantage or normal? Um, normal. You'll be good. 17. Well, 17. All right. God damn, I love my um, strength. As you open the box, uh, you will see a um, the blade that would be connected to the hilt is all in pieces all the way up to halfway up the blade where it's like a blade that's split in half. Mm. It's very much in pieces. The hilt is still very much intact. It is a very ornate, inlaid um, uh, longsword. But at the mm. very end of it, it almost curves and has like a bit of a... looks like it's supposed to have a spike on the back end of it. Almost, like, with the... Mm. Yeah. Alright. I got all my spells ready. Nice. I'm fucking excited. I need to remember to do that every long rest and think, oh, what, are, what would be useful, yada yada. Um, Fizzle, can I have your help with something real quick? Sure. Um, can you, um, come here real quick? Ba, 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 da, ba, 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 ba. Um, can you do an arcana check or a whatever the magic check is? I want you to look at these, uh, this blade that I was Four. just given by Jade. Arcana? Nikki? Yeah. Yes. But the bing. Fifteen. Nice. So is there anything you can tell me about uh, this blade fizzle? Uh all right. With a fifteen. This is an artifact. This is the Heirloom of Warriors. It is a really, really strong longsword that was wielded by a proud Asvarian warrior. Um, it was said that it could raise... Uh, raise spires out of the ground to impale enemies. Or... Uh, almost do flashes of attacks that would look like it is summoning uh, spikes out of it to people. Oh. That is horrendously awesome. I, I don't know, I'm just gonna explain to Morkath not exactly what Nikki said, but like def definitely 
something along the lines. Yeah, you. Uh, it was an heirloom thing that had a lot to do with uh, rocks and things. Yeah. Hmm. Well, considering but that was when Tyrus wielded it, so. Or an artifact like this, I would need to be in my homeland to make sure I do this properly. And for that to be, I mean, I will be heading to the, the deep core myself because I have found in the artifacts of my people. So it will, I can take this with me and get this done properly. If I were to do it now, there's a chance I could weaken the arcana, uh, the magic in it, and I do not want to risk for that, uh, risk that on a, such a fine artifact. Very well, that is a fair point. Mm. You know your stuff better than I do. I'm no smith. Just, I will reward you, your party, greatly when you finish with this. Alright. I'll see what I can do. Um, I... Well, you can test them now if you want. <laughs> How do I gotta test them for something? Well, you said you were gonna give them quests. Ah, uh, not just them. Them, they're gonna do something special for me. Oh. I don't remember working for your guild. You don't work for my guild. You want to? And I'll pull a contract out of my back pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I have obligations elsewhere. So does the Kobold and the Asbarian. Uh, fair enough. However, you don't speak for me. Can <laughs> you want to be a member of the guild? You have to pay taxes. Oh, oh that's. Oh, no, oh, I'd rather go back to the fucking Deep Core for that shit. <laughs> no, no taxes. Look, here's the thing. I mean, <laughs> in technicality, if you work for if you work for a guild, you do technically the your guild master does take a cut. Yeah, and there's taxation. also guild fees. Nah, I don't got no guild fees. You just kill monsters. Mm. I mean, we would kill plenty of monsters. I might make a living out of this. More importantly, and I'll pull a separate contract out of my pocket. Yep, yeah, it's all is them. Who here reads the best? Uh, who knows the who knows the most languages? Uh, uh, don't worry, it's in common. Um, as of common. right now, I can speak common, dwarvish, undercommon, and umbral. Sure. Common, draconic, well, sylvan, southern, umbral, and lyra. It's in common. I know. Yes, and we answered his question. What? No. Well, if anyone wants to grab this. Yeah, it's I'll have fizzle to have it. Huh? Looks like Yoda is grabbing it since he came up first. Uh, the contract will list a variety of things, mostly just technical jargon. Uh, the primary thing on it is, in exchange for the words of power for this mirror realm, I require three things. One is locating a certain werewolf. Two is killing said werewolf. And bring me his body. And three is whatever Levestus wants, because he needs something. Has to he's do currently him. taking a you ask him nap. He's on God. I cool. think he's currently taking a dirt nap. But I'm sure he'll wake <laughs> it'll, up it'll, soon. It'll, it'll be a moment. It's been eight hours and he's still asleep. The name of said werewolf is stip uh, stipulated to be said after the contract is accepted. I, uh, uh, no, I don't trust that. this. No, I don't like being signed also, a contract first before telling me what I have to kill. Also, I'm second, gonna. I do have a question. Sorry, you go, Fizzle. <sighs> Fizzle's gonna poke uh, Tiden's echo. It's a. Uh, it's solid. You poke He's it, so... and it poke. Yeah, you poke. actually poke something. Oh, I'm gonna keep poking it. I don't know. The, the Fizzle. Fizzle. Fizzle's gonna be looking back at the actual Tiden to see if he can feel it. I guess. <laughs> I could have oh. in the past. Can't anymore. Oh. Not that... 
We're not that close anymore. Sorry. <laughs> oh, there's some drama. Uh, so mm. one question I do have though is, he didn't. Why do you want this man, this werewolf, killed? Well, I an old, I owe an old debt to a warrior I fought along with who helped me slay a god. I didn't uphold my end of the deal that we made, and as such, I have made it my goal to have the one who made him a lycanthrope eliminated from the world. You know, I you can... were part. You were part of the group that killed Elmarius. I have said this like three times now. You, you, you I believe you're the one who said I went. I was rambling on about it. Oh Bastard. yeah, no, I was rambling on about your quote war against the gods. But yes, me, a few others, including Charles Trick. There's too many people list right now. Killed Amarius, but one of them lost his mind to the lycan lycan through that overtook him. Lycanthropy, English. I, I if. You know where he is. I can cure him. I could not. Oh, he's dead. Oh. And it's not something so trivial as <laughs> just be cured by a flick of the wand, unfortunately. Wasn't no, it Kachiro that dealt the final blow? Uh, yeah, yeah, he but... fucking stopped his heart. As oh, a... yeah, he used the. As you hear this conversation going on, a vision flashes before you. You see yourself with a giant werewolf in front of you, and you put, you do a monk move, and you watch as the thing slumps down in, like, a defensive stance. I just... Just the fucking... Eh. And then you snap back. Fucking five-finger death yeah. punch. That's what I did. Yeah. <laughs> I could not tell you where this person is, because I don't know myself. They've made an effort to hide themselves. Although I do know that they are very powerful. So you I want we us? Take the contract. You want oh. us to kill a really powerful werewolf? Uh, I think it might align with what you are already doing. Us, me and Tiden are already quite busy at the moment, but this aligns with what you're all doing. How? Being your bitch? <laughs> hey! Only on Tuesdays. And right uh, Uncalled uh, for! Um, uh, Don't let the... them know just yet. They can wait until they sign the contract. Okay. I'm just saying it actually does align with your current objective. And, I mean, being your bitch, as in being Tedens. You seem very hostile for someone who doesn't want to embrace their blood. Well, I will not be signing for now. I will think about I, it. You, you don't I'll... have to listen to him. <laughs> Where, are you go Where are you going? Don't leave me to deal with him! Well, that, comment, that comment pissed her off. Then punch him in the face like a real Isvarian! Uh, Alright, fine. You know what? I'm, this is what I'm gonna do. She'll walk back. This I'm is prepared, thank god. <laughs> what are you doing? Vanish. <laughs> you can't do that! A charisma save! Holy you shit! <laughs> you can't banish him for a hundred years! <laughs> no, that. That's not a five-year-old. No, it it banishes him for a minute. Yeah. It, uh, yeah. <laughs> Charisma. And, well, Charisma. well, all he'll be back, he'll literally just be right back at his keep. <laughs> well, no, so he, he gets banished to a separate, like, a, another plane of existence. This isn't a, this is a different plane. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I go to my home plane. Yeah. No, no, that that's if you get if it's a uh, banished. I'm but... I'm native to uh the the main plane. We're not on the main plane right now. Yeah. This is a oh. 
Yeah. We're, we are separated from Narakov. This yeah. is somewhere You're else. just transporting him home. <laughs> Out of anger. Yeah, Which I'm... is really funny to me, because it happens. <laughs> Tidin just midway talking. Yeah. Boop. Eh. Uh. Eh. Uh. Hold on. Yep, still gone. I think you get <laughs> one more. I do. <laughs> Come on. Where's that? Uh, I never have good luck rolling against saves. Uh, <laughs> I feel that too real. The one thing that does happen is the echo does just dissipate. Yeah, the, a fizzle off. as you're like looking and like poking the echo, it just whoop, gone. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna be right. like kind of counting. Actually, I was just counting. What did Ten, you do? Eleven. Oh. What did? Where did you go? What while did you I'm, do? While I'm at my keep, Nikki, I'm gonna grab a bag of gold from my desk as well. All right. <laughs> you don't even care. <laughs> what? No, I don't care. I don't give a shit. Fair enough. This pales in comparison to anything that I've had done to me up to this point. That's a fair point. Uh, You've been eating. Uh, was it your party? No, it's the other party that got eight. Nikki, I've got an ongoing affliction. I don't care about being banished. 24, that is a fair point. 26, 26. Oh, <sighs> by the way, your sheet auto tracks the attunement. 52, 53, 54, drop. He pops back. Oh! I just remembered! And Nikki. Yep. Uh, for we we got this still. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why do you have a fairy dragon egg? Oh, yeah. oh right, Nikki's been keeping it. track of that. She said that. Yeah, I'm gonna. You know, I, I'm I'm kind of curious because I don't I don't think I've had Fizzle like actually check on it. Fuck it, I'm gonna check if that egg's okay. You Scrambled. you reach your hand down to like check the egg, and you hear crack, 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 and you're like pressing against like. It, at first, it felt like you pressed up against shell. Then it feels like you're pressing up against scales. He's a dragon! Oh, Fizzle's gonna fucking take that egg out now. Uh, as soon as Tietan pops back, you'll look at Ashley L with a big smile and go, I like you. Not everyone would be so bold. I want to do this again. Uh, I, I cast him in the middle of his sentence. No, stop no, wasting stop. your spells, stop damn it! Banishing. You're not serious. <laughs> Are you fucking? Oh my fuck god! <laughs> oh my god! Can I just uncon Miss? Um, can I just uncon Ashleyle now, please? Oh, that is too <laughs> funny. Wait, exactly. What's you really funny is in you hear Jade giggling the whole time. <sighs> I, you know what? I'm just great. I'm gonna. I don't use my six level. We're going to take a long rest at, after this. So, you know what? If you want to have a fight, we can have a fight. Uh, please, please don't say. Don't. It's, say. it's hilarious. I find it funny. <laughs> it's the same thing with fucking chicken touch and divinity. Uh, I I cast banishment again on him. Oh my <laughs> Damn god. It. Wait, a question. Does his echo pop back? Oh, yeah, no. no! No, the echo doesn't pop back. Dang. No, Bye. I'll see you, guys. I'll see you guys in a minute. N Nikki. Bye. I saw. N Nikki. Damn it. You know, that you know what? I'm joining in this. That, Where that, is that it? That doesn't, that uh, as doesn't you... beat no, 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 no. I was going to bonk. Yes, Nikki. Uh, no, don't fucking use- uh, Oh my god! Okay. Evlo's just gonna sit on the steps. Sorry, I, uh, I was busy creating the dragon. I wasn't expecting the third roll. Jade was gonna do something if you're going to do that one more time. Oh. Punishment again. Why? As you attempt to cast it the third time, Jade will hold up her hand. What level did you cast it at? Uh oh. Level? I don't like this. Ah, yeah. Alright. Counterspell. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, yeah. <laughs> This is so stupid. Well, bye, Slayer. No, counter spell I, just cancels him out. Yeah, I, I, I think that's enough. Cast banishment at eighth level. <laughs> nah, Mr. Let her continue. She seems like she's having a great time doing it. I did not like your comment about that. While you are, you're younger than me, so you don't know about much of the start of the Cold War. Christmas. Children. You mean the war I helped try to prevent? The one that was started by uh, Urian? The one who I got inches within killing and yet banished outside the timeline? The one you failed from stopping from er eradicating our race and yet I took revenge for? That war. A little dragon. <laughs> with crystalline scales and crystalline other things you see it is sleeping oh what is his name what are you name gonna name him. it name your god son. that's a good fucking question um i love it it's so cute anyway. fizzle jr no, no hold on hold on <laughs> Kichiro Jr. No. Uh, Ashmael will respond. I don't want to talk about politics. I just want to say that there is something that I despise about my race, which is our lust for fight. And I have had it with and some people, some Asvarians, wanted to move do not think it's in our nature. Nothing would happen. Nothing. Yeah, abnormal. So I did not like that comment. And yet, were we not made this way? No, we were not, actually. Initially, we were not made this way. I don't know about you, but I was born this way. At least you were born, naturally. Ashwell is gonna go take a breather. Alright. Yes. Yo, no, it's gotcha. just. Oh, Nikki. Man. This is an important question. Is this a gal or lad? Uh, coin make me. Flip, coin flip, coin flip. Uh, I'm gonna do something off camera, but make me a medicine check. At least, uh, it's a 10. It is a girl. <laughs> hmm. It's very tiny. So tiny. Tis a baby. It does not have people. Hmm. And... As and of that, that and okay, that's just that. It has X and charisma. Nice. Exception stealth. It only speaks draconic until you teach it new language. And it is immune to. This is gonna be fun. Horse damage. Oh. God fucking damn it! I gotta do that all over again. Dash. Darn it. Anyways, yes, you now have dragon. It speaks Final draconic. Head. It is currently sleeping. Um... I, I have an idea. Hold on. 
Yeah. So it can help you with perception checks. Let's see. And it has a bite attack as well as a breath weapon. A very, very tiny breath weapon. But it has one. Uh, Tiden will thrust, for, uh, thrust forward the contract towards Yoda. The offer still stands, even through that little outburst of hers. <laughs> Here, even a sweetened deal, I'll offer this. And I'll hold forward a bag of 500 gold coins. Money does not interest me. Again. We need it for diamonds and so many other things. <laughs> you take the money. I need it for cobalt crack. We need it. All right, now. We... <laughs> One part of the like... party, we don't need that. The other part, but we do. Um, I, th I thought of a name. I thought of a name. It doesn't sway. It doesn't sway my character, damn it. <clears throat> yes. Uh, if we find a hallucinogenic mushroom, can we create a drug empire? No. What Bitch. the fuck? Are you just Dell 2.0? Just an off-topic. Like, uh, seriously, off -topic are you? <laughs> I, uh, I I would like to take the money and I have ADHD. Back. My brain just kind of follows dopamine. I'm sorry. Oh, you're fine. No, it's it's just, it's a it's very funny. Because uh, that's uh, what one of our other. Did someone ask that question recently as well, or? One of our other one of, it. one of the other characters did that. He just wanted Dread to do not. drugs. Oh, no, fuck Dread. To drill my nose. Uh, it's well, funny. Going I'm one me part, member of your party okay, wants to accept the deal. Wait, we're wasting time. Indeed. Time to yeah. go. We. I, I'm going to name the dragon Muriel. Uh, and I shall I tell them? To They've not written their name. They haven't accepted the contract. If they don't want it, that's fine. Um, you've been fighting Obsidian Assembly members, correct? Yes. Also, I have Comprehend yeah. Language uh, uh, prepared for once. Ah. So that means I... Like, okay. If you have to been, the Drake, then this will interest you. Our business was uh, yeah, the business was to go to the deep core. The pass for like six dollars right now. Oh yes, you guys can do what you need. Uh this is just a task you can do after. Any time it suits you for when you want to be able to travel to this lovely place, and I'll gesture around, still holding the contract in my hand. I well, uh... I I think we should take it. It's a good way to be able to travel a lot safer, get to our friends easier, and up to eighty percent off for a Ubisoft publisher for Ubisoft titles. Splinter nice. Cell Conviction, hundred percent price still. Not right now. Uh, Sorry. Uh, so I, are we taking the contract or not, guys? Uh, I, I don't personally care. don't it's want up to be... you guys. Yeah, I don't, I don't care. I need. I don't... We uh... need the money. I need the money. We need diamonds, much, so I how... make sure you not die. How much money do you have? I only I have a hundred. Uh, so for so I have a diamond for uh, revivify, <laughs> which is three hundred gold, and then I have then raise dead. It needs a diamond that's worth 500 gold. It just means that I can resurrect you within 10 days. Which I just um, offered you as well. Yeah. yeah. And and then I can also get, if I, we uh, pull together a ton of money, which is a thousand, we can get Hero's Fees, which is a really good spell. And it gives us uh, wisdom saving throws, uh, advantage on those. <laughs> We get cured of disease and poison. We become immune to poison. We get fright uh, and and immune to frightened. And our HP also increases. Max HP. To be honest, I'm... I guess we're taking. Can we like hurry it up? Let's get I out of here. I, I, 
I'm actually against signing a contract. We can, we can always sign the contract later. Yeah. Uh, I, we don't have to do the contract right away. As I said, we'll you don't have to do it right away. I just mean it's in your best interest. Because we'll give you more information as soon as you... Oh. This is my brother's thing, not mine. She just did all the legal jargon for me. <laughs> the thing is, usually this is where I try to pull the intimidating aura of bullshit. But one, this character is equal, if not... Is equal in age to me, and two... Is also a higher level. Can I just take my hammer and just like smack him, please? Oh, so I'm trying to what? PvP players. Uh, I'm not trying to PvP. It's a joke. Well, fuck. Oh, oh, all right. Ryan. <laughs> um. We'll take the I, oh, yeah. She's gonna like just... heal herself. I, I'm Better. down to take the contract. Now my paper cut is gone. Mm -hmm. the contract. Now let's get the fuck out of here. Right. That's oh. fine. Let's get going so that way you can try to solve a fizzle's shit. Perfect. Yes. Oh. The werewolf I need you to find. Wait. Oh, I just had two thrusting swords. Silly. Is simply what? called the tower. Oh, oh, that's, that's a target we need to take down anyways. It's so long our way. As I said, it's in your aligned interests. I don't know why you... You guys didn't need to... Oh, we just have more information on them. And he also just wants you... He wants to pay you for taking them out. I need his body. I need I'm you to remember that. I'm resisting the urge to strangle him. <laughs> Actually, no. We're, we're we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna see how well I resist the urge. Oh, <laughs> you resist it well. Your will is strong. I just you, want you, you will not slap this person. Oh no, I was gonna fucking strangle him. He has get... a very big grin on his face. Why do we need the body? You don't need the body, I need the body. Yeah. Why do you need the body? Yeah, why do you need But you're willing to pay for the body. I told you what I'm willing to pay for the body. You have your goal. That doesn't answer why you need it. Oh, contracts meaning that we don't we don't ask the questions. That's why he has That's having us sign the contract, contract so we can't That's ask him. That's well, not how contracts work. That's an NDA. You never know. Could be in the contract. I don't need, I don't need to tell you why I need the body. Exactly. I told you. We can we please? It's all the other bodies you can destroy, but that body is one I need. Uh, do you know how lycanthropes work? Uh, can I roll an arcana check? Um, is this an arcana or a nature check? I think it would be more of a nature check, to be it's honest. It's more of a medicine check, because it's a disease. True. Right. Could I contribute to these rolls? That is a flat 14. Uh, I'm rolling back. You can contribute. You, you're still within earshot of everyone. Oh, okay. You're not a Lyra, you can't, you can't hear them from far away. Oh, well, look at that! 15! Let's go! There you go. Okay. I don't know why you rolled... We were able to get... Oh. Hey, Fizzle! Okay. <laughs> I'm, Fizzle I'm understands there. lycanthropy. Um, so, the rest of you understand that lycanthropes are like people who turn into wolves, but no, no one truly really knows where they come from. Um... If you are bit by another werewolf, you will turn into a werewolf yourself. And being a lichen like that, uh, it has spread pretty substantially that there is a complete... Uh, there is, like, packs, as they call themselves, 
that do that uh, their initiation into the pact is uh, force feeding them their blood or uh, having each one of the members fight the victim to ensure that they are involved. All right. Yeah. Um, getting the body of the original is a way of urging the curse itself where it started so any person that this character has bitten and then all those other ones that have bitten that means all of those will be returned to normal and that's what he's trying to do that's why he wants the body because he probably knows a way of do reversing it and seeing uh, as he couldn't reverse it in time for his friend to die, that he's doing it in the aftertime, just to withhold some value of it. Of the promise he made. Oh. oh. That is all, of course, a guess. Mm -hmm. I could be just doing some whack shit with it. Indeed. You never know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I say we take the contract, because... You've already accepted the contract, that's why I told you the name. Yodo okay. said we accept the contract. Uh, as they leave, I'll give Ashley all a guild contract as well. Sign this if you ever want to come by. <laughs> Ashley, you know have a guild contract? I'm gonna actually, like... Put that um, down. So I haven't told Teen yet, but, um, yeah, yeah, we may or may not be borrowing the town his guild is in to set up a trap. What? Uh, why, why must we leave? We, we got shit to do! Um, the mirrors aren't connected to anywhere. You do realize the Vestas controls the mirrors, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, you do realize Levestus is currently unconscious, right? Yep. We aren't going anywhere for a hot minute. I might as well um, sit fancy and I might as well chat for Fine. a bit. I, I, I guess I have time. I, I'm going to need both Evlo and Ashley over here for a moment. You two are going to get some training. I will yeah. say, I'm gonna so this is uh, some damn time you guys can have in the mirror realm, as uh, Levestus can't actually make you leave right now because he is currently unconscious because of the amount of energy he just put out. It'll take him a couple, a day or two. I guess as they like, do, probably a little longer than that. I'm just saying. Hayden, what's the word for the mirrors? Ah, uh ah! -uh, you only get that on a right or on finishing the task. No, you said it when we accept it. No, I said when you accept it, I give you the name of who I need you to hunt. You did say that. I'm just gonna um this three uh, this two hundred fifty year old dwarf is gonna go take a drink. Well, you. Uh, I want to strangle you, <laughs> Teeden. Ar Arctic. Training time. I don't want to train. I want to talk to my damn god. I'm having a crisis of faith. Come strangle me then. Me. I welcome the challenge. You gotta learn oh. some shit. Mm -hmm. shit because we know. haven't had a shit about your abilities. Uh, you know, right. like the yeah. mask and so, the bottle. Yeah, mostly that stuff. Yeah. And so, your weapon. Hey. Uh, Morthak, uh, just a small thing, uh, just so you know, originally the sword had an affinity to anything, but I think what caused that uh, was completely destroyed, so whatever thing you insert into the slot, the gem slot, um, it'll have affinity to that, and its abilities will change via that. I'm sure it will still do the same things it was legendary to, but I think the 
Uh, what I'm basically saying is the damage type's gonna change because you get to choose its damage type when you finally craft it. Mm. As it is you plan on giving it, handing it down, correct? Uh, well, my daughter is no warrior. Eden doesn't have any kids. I also don't mess with swords. And I don't have any kids currently. You don't know what I'll do in the future. I highly doubt it that the you will. Thought, the thought of you reproducing is one that people should fear. Oh, we've been Ungar. nearly massacred because of it. Hmm. We're actually one of the two survivors of the Lunavale massacre. I didn't mean your species, I meant him specifically. Oh. For some reason, they've taken an abrasive feeling towards me. I couldn't tell you why. Pill pillars <laughs> help anyone who decides to settle down with that man. Right. <laughs> oh, your will... type of magic, then. What uh, is... Only Morthek can hear Jade giggling right now. <laughs> uh, as they go about the arena, I'm going to have Phil pop out from underneath the armor and keep an eye on them. All right. Okay. Yeah. Make me perception checks. <laughs> um, uh, people who are actually paying attention. So, Morthak, you have semi-paid attention. And Fizzle, you're also somewhat paying attention. And, more, and uh, Yoto, fa for... Yoto, you're literally facing him. These two are turned God facing you. It. Can I roll a perception check? Uh, you're focused I... on Yoto. <laughs> well, I was going to say something to Yoto. Well, I, again, Liam says... Nah, You're currently know. facing you two. Mr. Fizzle, can you also make me a check? Sure. Perception. Can we sh please about, uh, perception. Okay, no, this is uh, Phil. Uh, Phil, okay. Fizzle, you notice. And uh, Yoto, you also notice. You both notice that underneath... Uh, Tiden's armor, you see a cloak that's moving, and then you see it blink. Okay. It's staring at, like, in multiple directions right now. Right. As Tiden is just, I think, relaxing. It's very strange. He's playing dragon chess with this echo. Oh my god. <laughs> You're gonna do a what? He's playing dragon chess with his own himself. Oh god. Um, I'm um, in, right. in technicality, you wouldn't know how that would work, but still, hey. it's oh, oh, wait, you're just literally playing chess I, by I'd yourself. Like, <laughs> I'd, I'd like to get yes. this thing done before he has to leave. Yep, thank you. Well, yes, uh, Arctic. I, I want to do like a one on one with my god, but if you're if you think he'll be fast enough, I'm down. For it. Uh, well... You have time for all those things. Basically... I have to leave by 5.40, so... And MST. how long? Uh, oh, so in, in like minutes. 20 minutes, okay. Uh, so... Have either of you tr tested the ability of your masks yet? Nope. Not really. Do you even know what they what do you even know what they represent or how they work? Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Actually, Arctic, you've seen how one works. You've seen specifically how your type works before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You watched You watched the uh, Morocco fucking turned someone to ash by using his. He spat that. out like a cone of fire. Make it. Yes. Um. Yeah. I, I, I don't... Like, he activated it. I don't know how. Make well, me... Well, you know how. Uh. Hello. Make me a straight intelligence check to remember. Ah, yes. Plus one. 
I've been rolling 13. All right, you needed a 10. Hey, right, you remember. It seems that some of these masks are connected to specific elements based on, uh, well, the things you did during the... So, from a correct way, you're in an enforcer class, you're the Oni mask. So, Morocco's is a fire base, if I remember correctly. His is fire, I think, for Ashley L, since it is linked both to the user's soul and how the, um, how the, um, the, uh, I'm blanking on the word, the initiation ritual, I believe specifically for how that was dealt with and their weapon it would either be radiant damage because they already are linked to a god or it would be electric damage because of the um weapon she stole uh, and used so you get three per long rest and you get a breath attack basically and this will actually work uh the shinobis get a uh stealth based ability because that's what the shinobi used in the other one um do you want a cone or do you want a line cones are more effective hmm? cones are more effective okay cones are more uh, effective but they have a shorter range a line yeah a i know i know target but long. Uh, one and two cone chain four and light. Eh, cone. Wait, what? Hey. Cone. Um. But there's invisible walls blocking everything. Oh fuck. And your <laughs> affinity is necrotic or radiant. Which would you like? Uh. And well, well, so obvious. Metagame me wants to say radiant, but in or me wants to say necrotic because I am death domain. I flip a coin. Kinda... This is actually like I don't care if you pick the meta version of it because in uh it's whatever your character is attuned to. Because technically, yes, you are a cleric and you do a lot of radiant stuff, but also you're a death cleric, so you do necrotic. This is why I'm giving you the choice. All right. Okay. Mm. One and two necrotic. Three and four radiant. Why not? You can literally roll a d2. I On my screen, I don't have a d2. You slash r you, space you do 1 it d2. like that. Are you uh, where, where are okay. you? See? Hey. Yeah. It, it literally flips I, a coin. I don't know what I picked up. Uh, I picked up something called the model necklace. Okay, radiant. Very well. You now have a radiant damaging smoke, basically. Alright, the fox mask. Uh, now, uh, Evlo gets to know their ability. So, this one also has three charges. And three per long rest. Alright. And, uh, you get, um, because of the, uh, stealth-based things, you get your choice of disguise self, or... Invisibility. Or I think, um, Smoke Cloud. No, Smoke Cloud is the Executioner Mask. Okay. okay. Thank you. Um, hmm. How long does it last for? Or... Um... Like, does, do either last for? Oh, the, uh... Like, Invisible and, and uh, Disguise. Okay. Um, it is. It lasts for two hours. So you do something. Uh, for both or for the disguise self. Uh, the disguise self lasts for longer. Ah. Yeah. Uh, let's go with invisibility. Inv 
invisibility. All right. Yep. There you go. You now have each of you rank one. Uh, they increase in um, stuff as you guys go through the different ranks of your spec. Fine. Torm. And essentially, to explain how Yodos works is um, essentially about this. I, I think this is a five foot radius, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, uh, five feet around you? Yeah. All right. Uh, essentially, five foot radius around the user is covered in a dense yellow fog. So, it, it think like the smoke bomb that we tried to use on the other guy, but it's localized and it moves with the user, not stays in one place and then slowly exuberates so this one um duration because of how far you've done this it's um an hour because this would be a minutes thing and to be used in combat on the other part because you are a little bit higher up this thing it does poison damage. The fog? Yes. To oh. other people. Um. It's not really, like, that bad. And it's only, like, a one-time... A one-time damage proc. Yeah. But the shroud stays up. Yes, there's a saving throw. Uh, but it doesn't affect you. It doesn't affect other um, order members. Their masks filter this. Uh, Which is why it doesn't affect you at all. Because your mask both can produce it, but also filters it, so it doesn't affect well, they're inoculated to the effect. everything else too. Yeah. yeah um, also, how do I get out of that? Yeah, your little your bottles that you have when you get the final hit on an enemy, you can open it and steal their soul. That that's how you ch that's how you fill it. Alrighty. And then you can do fun things with it, like rituals. But oh. you have to have someone else teach you that because my character has very specific <laughs> rituals. As a he's an executioner. Uh, he has executioner rituals. There's rituals for each of them, and they all do different things. Uh, the one who taught, um, uh, Yoto's other character, the one that she knew, they were a, they were an Oni. They, they learned an Oni ritual. Which, uh, uh, it's a Oni and Executioner ritual that's shared. It's the purification ritual. Because both of those can do the purification. Uh, shinobis can't because they no need for purifications. They're not frontliners. Uh, the um, uh, the other mask doesn't. But either way, fun fun. Anyways, you can go have your one-on-one -on -one with a god now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Ashley, you could learn the um, exec the 
uh, purification one from Yoto, but that's the only one he can teach you. Because <laughs> there's other right. uh, other rituals, and they do... Um, some of the rituals are combative. do combat stuff. But not all of them. I, I think only the Enforcer has more combat-based. Uh, the Executioner has um, cleansing and uh decimation yeah. uh, they okay. can purify and also destroy <laughs> anyways you wanted to have a talk with your god yeah very well so, i'm just gonna like i i'm like i and i'll cast commune if i have to Man, you thought we were but scary by I'll ourselves? kind of wow, go you're off to be in a world and kind of take a few min moments to breathe, light some incense. Kind of get on my knees and kind of just uh, like sit there and just uh, say, uh, Vicara, are they? Are you there? Uh, what do you what spell are you using a spell for this uh if i have to use a spell yes but i'm i wouldn't like to just try to establish a it, connection you would need to use the commune spell or augury well commune is probably the better one yeah i have commune i'll cast i'll do it ritual so i'll take like 10 minutes and extra to cast it for some mints and dab holy water. Anyways, that, that that's you can ignore those. Oh, Fizzle's just gonna be cradling this baby. He's just distracted right now in his own world. Oh no, that's a scary Yoto. <laughs> that's a scary Yoto. What? He just he like hard turned toward me. <laughs> Lol. But yes, he's he's kind of caught up in the fact that he now has a baby Drake dragon. Huh. Oh, he's the one. Oh no, he gave that. Oh, she also has those. And those. All right, all right, all right, all right. Why? Good, 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 good. Why? Why? Why is my speech bubble popping up over there? I don't know. Refresh. It, it glitched. Eh. Yes, I refresh. It it does that sometimes. It was doing it to me. All right, Ashlale, we're gonna. The world around you darkens. So, uh, you open your eyes to a great uh, uh, volcano. And you see Vicara as a almost fire being just standing above it. What says this? Speak, child. What is it that you want? I want to know why I follow you. You want to know why you fo wait? What? Uh, like she? So Ashwell is kind of having a question of faith and why she should uh, follow Vicara. And oh. She, so she's just like, you're, you're a god of war and forage. I'm sick of war, like. I follow you for death, but do you, you're not one of death, are you? Doesn't war uh, bring death, child? Everything brings death. Indeed. You can find death in all accounts, even in nature. It is everywhere. Therefore, you can worship whoever you want and help whoever you want. It's, they're all connected in some way. But 
I'm asking why I should follow you. Why? I mean, all I did was... All I did was help are not shackled uh, as in commune other one that is more closer to you. you can just I don't want it to be on names. I want it to be on someone that can would agree or teach me someone that would help me learn no. I don't want knowledge I want you she actually L kind of takes a deep breath and she goes I just I've been at war for most of some of my life. Most of my life, I was built for it. I was made for it. But why? Why would someone like you sell, follow it? Like, it. I I don't understand. Oh, that is because I have. <laughs> that is because of my own nature. I. Well, I love the heat of battle, fighting with my best at, but also forging to uh, work like that, all things connected with war, also heeding to the ones who have died, so they, they meet their better place. More than likely, if they're under me, they'll go to a place for warriors. A grand feast, if not. Um, but some others may have other areas where they may take their ones whom perish. And if they do not want to uh, move on, they can stay as they are and be reborn. When I die, what will being a follower of you look As I said, you'll be either seated at a grand table with a grand feast with other people who have, well, mostly warriors. Or you can come back to Nerikov or other places. I mean, you will not be yourself, as you are, but you'll still be there. And I think that has happened in weird splitting ways. So you you said that she was forging some. What was she forging? <laughs> I was forging weapons to kill gods. Um, as I was shackled to do so. I you want to continue building ones to kill this one. Oh, I don't do, do that currently. I mostly forge um sculptures. Yeah, one. Well, metalworking does not have to be weapons of war. It can be commodities and other things. Oh. Alright. <laughs> With that end part, your missions are up. And you open your eyes back up and you're back in the mirror realm.
Little sack. I've never been to the Deep Coal. What what is your city like? I heard it's very dark in the Deep Coal, like because it's underground and stuff. What what is your culture like? Nick. Hmm. Nick. Hmm. Asking you questions. Sorry. Okay. Anyways, Fizzle's still cuddling. Can you repeat the questions? I'm sorry. Cradling the baby. I'll get to you in a second. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just what sad. is your home like? I, I've never been to the deep ball. I, I'm always curious. Oh, well, I can't say much, really. It's been 250 years from what I've gathered. What was it like when you were there? Well, of course, as a dwarven race, we are known for our craftsmanship. And we mostly kept to ourselves in the deep core. We are very hardy in a way. Um, Sorry. <clears throat> But we mostly pride ourselves on our craftsmanship, and we we will not go to war with any other factions on the... We would not go to war with any nations that are not in the Deep Core, as it does not affect us. Uh, understand. That's why we have so many... Tra that's why we have so many trading portals, and we trade with a bunch of other races. Because... What is the point of us crafting if no one uses our craft? Ah, uh, that is a fair point. Perhaps I'll go there sometime. I've been meaning to get back to my home anyway, because I found the crown jewels that we lost 250 years ago. Mm. Something of my craft. I'm guessing it has to do with your death, yes? Mm -hmm. The okay. twin, bl uh, the twin, uh, the twin demon blades. Uh, Saber of Hellfire. Um. Mm. Here we go. Is this is going to be really fun. <laughs> um, she is going to make a history check on you. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Wow. Well, okay. Uh, Apparently, I will get luck charm in some way. What's your name, friend? You say you're very old. Orthak Demon Cleaver. Um, her eyes will blink a moment, and uh, she will pull out a book. Hey, yo! Hold up! <laughs> <laughs> this book says you fucking died. <laughs> Um, you mean the one from the stories? Stories? Yeah. Yes, the stories of your... You were a great general of, um, the, the Deep Core Army, um, back when you were fighting the, uh, remember correctly, it was the Fere that were trying to cannibalize the rest of you, along with the elves. Um... But, but you were slain in battle during that time. The war has been over for centuries, but... My goodness. Mm. So... Yes, that was a very gruesome matter. Hmm... I will say, the city has a little more than just dwarves in it, from what I've been told, elves and uh, the Dark Elves and the Duragar all live in basically harmony mixed between their two cities and a few other villages, uh, but it's the Shell, uh, the Dark Fairy and the other few that are there, the gnomes. 
thoughts that don't uh, bode well with you. Nah. Gnomes because they're too rambunctious and from what I've heard. Uh, I've never loved with those fucking things. Are all of you... How are you alive? Uh, well, did, did you fake your death? I wish. <laughs> I wish. Hey, for real? <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me laugh. We've I'll been docking in an experiment trying to become a lich that wasn't... That wasn't. Uh, I'm not trying to be rude, it's just... This is incredible that you're here. Well, it was our godforsaken demon and demigod wannabe Amarius that brought me back. Ah, that's the one Yurian was trying to protect. Yes. Well, I didn't fight Amarius. My brother did, though. I just helped him take out the one who killed our family. Um, Sometimes wonder why are we still doing our uh, doing things together. Since Amarius is gone, our true quest is no longer there. Oh, you were brought together and stayed together throughout this, despite differences and mm. things. It seems that you're doing well for yourselves, even being together despite having conflict. But, the bird one I always woke up for. He is a fun one. But, There's very little I know of the ma the one used to be masked. But still, do not trust him. Uh, I've dealt with creatures with masks. <laughs> they were terrified. But his masks and his culture are actually completely different. My family tried to fight them. But... This is gonna be really funny. My daughter's, uh, my daughter taking over the guild that I founded actually made relations with that same empire. And now, uh, huh, like I said, a lot of our goals align. Me and Tiden are working with them as well, somewhat with them. As uh, they have resources we need. We. Uh, as well. Mm. But well, for you, your you and your group, helping us is actually could be good. Uh, since you are returning, our work from my guys. end. Uh, but we know where the tower is roughly located. It'll just take us a. Uh, Takes us a little bit of time to finally point him. Yep. I wonder if the Levestis is okay. Staring at him. Oh, he's still unconscious. <sighs> yep. Alright. <laughs> Where's a whiskey when you need some? Fun little exposition for you to learn. The past. Oh, wait. She actually had one more question. Uh, since you were resurrected, were the others as well? Like, all of you? Not everyone. That's only it. the Cobalt, only the Masked One, and the Birdman. The other one, the Asvarian, we found. Well, the Masked One fights as hard as an Asvarian. And with that... From what I can gather, she apparently he's... Just say that he's... nonchalantly. Um... <laughs> eh? Hey, fuck, excuse me? You're too she's... far out of range, you uh, hush, mister. You, you forget, she's also an Asvarian. <laughs> so she also feel is the same way as Tiden. She, well, she was also bred for battle as well. She has that inherent trait. And seeing a warrior fight, it's if, as well as she would have, she's just interested. She runs in the family. It does. 
Is she going to appear randomly in your campaigns just because she's like that? No. But if you pursue it, she will. Oh, for interest in love. Just kidding. That's kind of. No. I don't. No. Uh. Uh, you're just cradling the creature. Step words again. All right. I'd like to make an animal handling check. I was going to ask Fizzle for that. But yeah, go ahead. Animal handling. I wait. I'm not sure how good that's you know, going to be, I, I but I wish it That's funny, Fizzle. Holy shit. Mickey, is a nine enough to boop the snoot? Uh, you boop the snoot and wake it up. <laughs> no! God damn it! Why'd you uh, wake it up? <laughs> but uh, it stirs for a moment. But before it opens its eyes, the cradling that Fizzle is doing very gently and so well that it actually just puts the dragon back to sleep before it even opens its eyes. Yeah. Good. Fizzle, you are now known as the Fizzle the Dragon Handler. Um, you have six, you have critically successed your animal handling skill. The creature is very friendly towards you at the moment. Nice Why? affinity instantly. Hold up. Fizzles well. like is like fucking unable to peel his eyes away from this baby. He's. Just happy as ever wow you actually oh. do not have that spell i'm surprised this is what's going spell? Spell? On travels. Uh, what spell it's a very tiny crystalline dragon yoto make me a history check oh no oh shit uh, i'm is tired this of this music or advantage <clears throat> As as advantage a... because of where you're from. That's a Huh? Excuse me? What was the fuck yeah? Why did it say fuck yeah and then roll a one? Because it fuck the... it I don't know again? why it's glitched on it's glitched on this character. That's so I've weird. I've only had this dragon Can I for try about that again? 10 minutes. But if anything ever happened to her, I would kill everyone in this room and then oh, myself. Hold on. Nikki, can I try that again? Uh. Because my dice are fucked. Dice. Dice fuckery. Let's try that. Again. There we go. You need to fix your dice. Because that's going to confuse I... the fuck out of me. I don't think I can fix it. I mean, if you change, I think you can like just re-put it in. Except, except for the part where you killed them. Okay, that does. Drop them. Deadening. Oh, that's why. Wow. Okay, uh, with... it was set... I figured out what happened. It was set on a version made for Pathfinder or Warhammer where lower is better. Uh, uh... <laughs> that makes sense. That's... That's terribly funny. Lower is better! I really miss... I actually... Um, isn't, I think, uh, fucking another game works like that. So for both, here's, here's the Anyways, it's fixed. Call of Cthulhu. Uh, that, yeah. there's that 20. Um, Crystalline, um, you have not seen a crystal dragon in, in centuries. Uh, your culture at least hasn't, not since, um... There's said to be one that lived within the forests, and no one ever saw it. It was like a festival that happened every 100 years. Um, you went to the festival at least once, but the 
the dragon remained in slumber. And then the year after, the forest exploded. So this may actually be the last crystal dragon. I'm going to jet. Uh, I'm going to very carefully motion Fizzle to see if I can hold the dragon to take a better look. Oh yeah, the the egg of these types of dragons, or is why they're going to be one of the most rarest dragons you'll ever see in my setting. Um, their gestation period, being in an egg, by the way, is like two hundred years. Oh my god. They have been asleep for a long ass time. Mm -hmm. They have motherfucker big... had a big ass nap. Motherfucker had big big nap. But no, fucking Fizzle's gonna look at Yodo and like softly shake his head and whisper, "I want to let go of him. I'm, I'm afraid he's gonna wake up. Her, she's gonna wake up. She's gonna wake up. Ugh. It's a she. Yeah." Fascinating. Uh, with that history check, the one that was in the forest, was that male or female? Uh, the one that was in the forest, you need to get 20. Um, it was a, um, that one was a male. Mm. Or at least supposedly. According to like, a, a, a yeah, they believed it to be a male according to their um, traditions and stuff. You actually believe that one, uh, one of the festivals is coming up soon. Yeah, but like the forest exploded. True. But I'm pretty sure that would have killed the dragon. Yeah, but they still hold the festival. In case the spirit of the dragon still hears them. But. Hey look. A crystal dragon. This very well may be the last of its kind. The last one that we knew about lived in the forest. Before it was destroyed and. There was a festival to be held. Gen generally about every hundred years. <sighs> um, we may be able to take her there to find more information. Though, I warn you, keep her close. I don't trust as much as I as much as I want to, it, I would like for us to avoid issues in my homeland. There are those that might want the child for their own Fizz twisted game. Fizzle would cut him off at like any point and look up at him. The glare in his eyes basically says everything. His, he replies anything happened to this creature yoto i will put it in all my power that they never see a piece of themselves ever that? again Ooh. his eyes glow and shimmer from that when he makes those statements Hmm. He's gonna calm down though and continue cradling the drink. So we do do we are we supposed to feed this thing like solid food or like Oh it's a dragon, it can eat meat. Yeah, but like it's a it's a child. Baby. Uh, uh, dra uh I'm not Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure dragon physiology don't have, um... You mean it's toothless at this point? 
No. No, I, I don't think dragons have milk. No. Uh, dragons are, uh, they just get fed by their mothers, usually. By, like, uh, want... it's the same as, like, uh, well, they would just, the mother would just bring back food and they'd just eat it. Yep. I'm going to Wild very lizards will just gently... eat whatever their parents bring back them. Yeah. Well, I'm going to very gently position the water skid for the dragon to take a drink. Okay. It, uh... It's still sleeping at the moment. You're just holding your water skid there. Not thirsty. <laughs> it's asleep. Oh. There we go. Perhaps we should wake it up. Oh, Fizzle has a sad look on his face, but no, he he will uh, gently try to wake it up. Oh yeah, you said you had comprehend languages earlier. Uh, that only works with written text. You have to have tongues to speak. Yeah, uh, but do any of you speak Draconic? I do. That and I believe Evlo does because he kobold. Yeah, you and Evlo are the only ones that speak that language. That's hilarious. That's here. Um. Frost speaks it, but they're not here. Tedin. What's up? What do you speak? Oh, no, Social you, common you... Sylvan as Varian runes in Southern Common. And you speak the Japanese. I got Japanese. I got my own funny language. I got the language of the trees. No one is making anyone eat anything. Thank you, Kudit. <laughs> um... <laughs> I, kind of I got more resistances than I got languages, Nikki. Yeah. That is a fair point. You're just not. You're resistant to everything but the one you're vulnerable to. That's not true. Didn't say it was a pet. I'm not resistant to cold. Wait, what? That's a fair point. Yeah, you are it. Yeah, that's right. Um, a little. Uh, I'm gonna make a. Alright. The little dragon stirs. And slowly wakes up. And it stretches out its wings. And you notice that it actually has two wings and four legs and a full tail. And it's like... It's like a cat. It's at well, the moment not. the size of a cat. Yeah. Fizzled. Fizzled. <laughs> oh. I'm probably gonna have to roll again, uh, my death saving throw at this rate because this thing is too cute. XD. I, it will grow into a larger dragon over time. It does take years, but it will do it. Of course, it's a it's a dragon. For now, I can at least uh, hold it until it starts holding me. But whatever. I don't think you'd live long enough to see it grow past like the medium stage. Mothal. Hello. Uh, I guess Tedin oh, as well, because he's there. Make me perception checks. That's how we'll come over here for Ooh, a moment. I get advantage on this. <laughs> oh, no. Fear, 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 fear. Mm. <laughs> it's not better than Florence. <laughs> they're just, <laughs> they're uh, a different type of dragon. Uh, oh, I have minus one. What's doing that? Oh, you, you second. Don't you have low wisdom? Oh, I was like, never mind. I have negative wisdom. <laughs> I, was like, I was gonna say. <laughs> um. All right. Uh, the dragon slowly stirs and wakes up, and it. Ah, uh, hurrah, uh, that's yeah. what you hear, Fizzle and Ashlale. A Yoto hears this. Are you my mother? Uh, I, coming to the realization, Fizzle is ambiguous and doesn't actually show any like. <laughs> that 
That's a loaded question. <laughs> <laughs> please, please, Yoto, I'm begging you. <laughs> what do you want me to tell it? <laughs> Fizzle's um, looking at you with eye, probably eyes of a, what did it say? <laughs> Yeah, just like, like, what did you say? What did you say? It's asking if you're its mother. Mm. Sorry. Fizzle, fizzle, uh. <laughs> he's bent. Um. Fuck. Uh. I'm gonna ask Yoto if you could kindly reply that yes, I am its mother. <laughs> you sure you want to use the term mother? Maybe father, but I don't know at this point. If if I reply you are its mother, it is going to forever think you are a female. <laughs> I'm surprised no I'm su fucking ah. Just say I'm its father, fuck it. That would be your father, little one. Eh. Oh. Father. <laughs> and you hear is. I'm afraid he's not versed in dragon tongue, though. Uh oh. Where is it? Where is it? Comprehend languages only works for... No, language. it's not It's not comprehend languages that I'm looking for. Are you looking for tongues? No, something else. You'll see if I find it. <laughs> I love that you still have his eye. Did you insert that, by the way? Yeah, you did. You have... Yeah. And yeah, that can be gone. Spell book. Oh, spell book. What are you looking for, by the way? I was, uh, well, I can't find it, but I was gonna jokingly roll, uh, death saving throw. <laughs> XC. Uh, no. uh, yeah, that's, uh, you only can do that when you have no HP. Yeah, I know. But, uh, yes. Fizzle, Fizzle's just... Excited. Happy. Even though he's probably gonna have to teach the dra uh, baby common or anything he could, really. Just come to the realization Ashley left. Yes. Yeah, they've been gone for like 30 minutes now. They had to leave. Mm. I was wondering why they were just standing there doing nothing. Mm. Anyways, um. Hell does Tiden see since, you know, he did get that perception? Yep. Well, I still asked for Evlo to do his in Morthek. I think Evlo is AFK, okay, because I remember seeing that message a bit right. ago. Nick has returned. Hmm. For reception. Yeah, on it. Ah, damn it. Not very perceptive right now. When it comes to my rolls, I get poor. But when it comes to people's rolling things related to me, that is good. Mm. I don't get it. What is going on? To be fair, I rolled an 11. Like, my roll is not that much better than yours. I just have a slight bonus. I'm gonna roll for Evlo. For it. Ah! <laughs> when it comes to you rolling for other people or it's something that is not combat, it's mm. not good. I mean, it's good. My bad. Mm. Other way around. Uh, you'll notice that Lovestis is now hugging Damus. And you hear the soft sound of, Oh, Damus, you're so soft. <laughs> Why am I waking up in your fur? Tiden, uh, you, you hear someone whispering in Damus's direction. But Evlo definitely hears it. Uh, that's up to Evlo whether or not he says something about it. I will not. You just hear Lovestis, like, enjoying his dog. 
if he doesn't say anything, I'm gonna keep practicing ballroom dancing. All right. Well, he's still not doing anything. So. All right. <laughs> dog. This is dog. No, that is cat. <laughs> this is my favorite Elden Ring joke is dog. <laughs> What kind of dog is this? Yeah. <laughs> dog? <laughs> the fucking turtles. What kind of dog is this? What's really dog? funny is that was a thing in all the all of the fucking Dark Souls games. Dog? Is this dog? <laughs> Horse? Is <this> dog? <laughs> My other reason for the headcanon then, uh... The Elden Ring is before Dark Souls, is the fact that there's horses. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> there is There horse. is more. There's a lot more. Uh, I, have, I have huge theories about it. Perhaps we should go check on the others. Perhaps. Yeah. I think Perhaps. I might do a horror video. You um, don't want to leave the spot, do you? The fuck are you guys talking not, about? Not really. Mm. Where are we going? Nicky Jim's being weird again. Isn't Jim always <laughs> weird, though? <laughs> if only I could answer. <laughs> Yoto hears him. It, it wants to know where we're going. Uh... Yeah. Fizzle would point to the group of people, you know, up there, and and ask Yoto, tell it that we're just gonna meet uh, meet with those people. They are friends. <laughs> it will <laughs> hop off your arms because you because <laughs> uh, you pointed towards. And you, you said something I doesn't understand, but you said, you said, you pointed, and they're just gonna head towards those people now. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 <laughs> oh, no, 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 Panic bird noise. <laughs> pa panic. Panic. As it goes by, Tidden and the Echo will both bow to it. What? Friend? <laughs> no, no, not them. Bite that man's shins. Bite? No wait, no. <laughs> he's he's looking at you. Know, what did you say to him? <laughs> Nothing important. <laughs> uh, they're pointing as to it, me. As Here. it walks by, I'll channel a little bit of the effect from a uh, being a champion of name. What? Celeste. Me. Yeah. Just to kind of give that draconic aura she gives off. Damn it. Ha! <laughs> oh. In that case. <laughs> Friend, you hear this. You can understand them while this aura is active. Oh. I won't talk back. It's weird talking to dragons. Friend? I'll just nod my head. Friend. We, these are not the ones we're speaking with. Oh. A point a points to the the one who uh, points to Ashleo. Friend. Friend. Mm -mm. Oh boy. Mm. What a cute little one. And she will switch to Grip Draconic. Damn, she's Hello. she knows. She knows all the languages. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, she knows all the languages. I know. She's a warlock. They get tons of shit. Yeah. So, well, not a warlock. She's actually a sorcerer paladin. <laughs> yeah, I got her mixed up with her daughter. It's okay. Yeah, her daughter's a warlock. Um. Fuck is it? I need to yes. Find it. These are friends. Friends. Dad. It just points up with wing. Father. And then just pops up. 
it can actually fly. It well, kind of. It takes flight and then lands in your arms as it floats down. <laughs> Bird fucking dies. Hold on, hold on. I guess I'm, I'm just fucking shit posting as fast as humanly possible now. Because, like, everyone can fucking speak Draconic, and I'm so upset. I mean, technically, it wouldn't take that long in, t in game time to teach you Draconic. Uh, about a week or two. And you have, big. like, two people in your party that can uh, that's... speed up that process. Yeah. Evelo hears everything the, 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 the dragon's saying. Oh, I have guests. He hops off. Welcome, Tiden. Um, good afternoon. What brings these folks here? Oh God! I would like to insight check him. All right. Oh no! Oh no! Make an insight check. Brain Don't worry, me. guys. This is one of the few rolls that I'm not terrible at. Check. Yep. You can as well. No, it bounced off with a 20. Yes! Brain damage. Brain damage. <laughs> Suffering from minor brain <coughs> damage. Um, you, Lilith, you don't believe he's trying to lie to you. You've studied his demeanor at this point. Um, He's being serious. Yoto, would... you you don't think he's lying to you. He seems to be quite serious about what he just said. We've been here for a while. Oh shit. Where are my manners? Um We We've already met. We You found us in the desert, in the dead lands, and then we were brought here by Fizzle. him. Make me a medicine check. Or Arcana. Mm. Actually, Arcana. Yeah, Arcana's higher. Okay. Yay! Yeah. No, we don't care what you do. Okay, cool, thanks. You believe he is suffering from some type of magical amnesia. Uh, whatever he did earlier caused his uh, memory to wipe for a moment. Oh, these are a few guests. They are currently using this area as a hideaway. They'll be gone shortly. Oh, very well. And uh, I'm going to, I'm gonna to add this, on this top of this, Fizzle. Like, huh? Along with this amnesia, you get a weird feeling. A, a feeling of some sort. You believe this isn't the first time he's done this, as, uh, uh, Damus's looks concerned for a moment, and then back to less concerned. Damus, has this happened before? Many. Um, How long does it last? A few days. He doesn't bring back everything. This is also why Amarius gets mad at him sometimes. I mean, why does this keep happening? As Damus is going to explain something. When Lavestis casts really high magic, it causes his mind to break. There's a reason, and because he forgets, he doesn't remember what he did. So he does it again and again. As it is the one thing he is very good at. Haven't you tried to stop him? He 
Don't listen to me. That's a wrong statement. I listen. If this has happened before, it's Jesus. Um. <laughs> well, it may have been this, and he pulls out a he pulls out his up a, a spell book, and you see it actually just has pages of scrolls in them. And then he like flips through them. He goes up and he pulls out one. He's like. Uh, when things hit the fan, I use this spell. <laughs> um, I'm going to it's... whisper in Draconic to Teden, you, sh you should probably take that from him. Uh, he needs it more than I do. Uh, Fizzle. Uh, uh, I'm just going to assume you're roughly in this area. Room. Make me a... Arcana check as you look at the page. It is written in a different language, but um, you can sense. Nice to roll. Actually, you can read it. Never mind. He he has been casting a spell that looks like it's meant to be a ninth level spell, but it's written as a higher level spell, one that requires multiple people casting it. You believe that is the reason it's taking such a high toll on the man, but it, you believe it's also something that has kept him alive, in some regards. Uh, Fizzle's gonna have this look of just absolute, like, shock. And, uh, I gotta tell you what the spell is called. The spell is called Void Tear. Oh. Mm hmm. What? This is a homebrew spell. <laughs> A tenth, uh, well, his is a tenth level. It is a, uh, ninth level spell. That, probably eventually you guys could actually use. But he has scrolls oh. of it, he has a bunch of scrolls for it. It is a, uh, it's a saving throw spell. A large... Spew, spool of uh, energy uh, flashes out and tears up anything void related. Basically, anything that comes from the void, it starts tearing it apart. Mm. And it it it's a it's an area of effect. Um, in a sense, with this spell I've been using, I guess that's been causing this weird thing that's been happening. Unfortunately, I've already sent this crew of five on a quest, but if another group comes along, maybe I can help solve that issue. Yeah. Yeah, this guy says. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, if you have a quest for them, fantastic. I wasn't saying anything. I'm just, uh, I, I seem to be the chaperone. I, by all means, I enjoy it. The more people that come on by, the more people that I can learn of, uh, possibly getting rid of uh, helping that oh. man out. Oh, hold on. It's been more than a week since he first met us in the desert. How much of his memory did he lose? Up, 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 uh... I don't know, but I've known him for about a year, so... Not a year's worth. 
And he knows I have access to this oh, place, wait. so... I recognize you all. He gets blasted through a mount mansion. That was hilarious. Do not speak of that accursed place. That place is just the bane of this party's existence. Hmm. Perhaps we should get going and allow you to, um, deal with this. Alright. Oh, you want me to open a portal? Yes, yes. <sighs> uh, you guys have been in here about a a day. <laughs> I, I'm going to let. I'm going to gently set my hand on the dog's shoulder and whisper, "I'm sorry." Pay no mind. There's... No, I'm uh, sorry. You have to like deal this. with this idiot. <laughs> oh, he's been like this forever. But bear in mind, he is not. He's. He's a Horizon Walker. A what? He's a Plane Shifter Ranger. Ah. Uh. So basically, he is used to doing these portal things, which is why he's here. <laughs> um, because of his knowledge of the sea, as well as the rest of the other planes. Some of his knowledge is overbearing. Mm. That book has a lot. That's why it's in a book. It's more than just scrolls and magic. It's knowledge. Things that he wants to never forget. He probably has your group written in there somewhere. Mm. He has been writing a lot about you guys. The man's literally has all access cable television. He does <laughs> not basic. all access. Just Narakov weekly. And <laughs> only the surface of it. Yeah. He, Nikki, he can monitor basically every fucking party that you have running. What do you think I'd do in my spare time? Exactly. Eden is also very he... much able to just pop in anywhere. I literally keep tabs on anyone interesting. I need warriors for my fight against the god. Hmm. Although I couldn't view you guys. Something about Amarius. Until I met y'all. Eh. Mm. He's literally been just saying this out loud. <laughs> no. This is just out of character. Yeah. I could say it all out, but then that's no fun. They know in my spare time I go and mess with... <laughs> are you are you going to throw another random object at your co-worker who's on vacation no i gotta pay attention to levestus make sure he's doing all right didn't remind him when he's not forgetting things to keep an eye on viara oh we we're already you... trying to <laughs> yeah, exactly. She, uh... Though she... some unsavory folk have come out of the forests. She's got herself more tightly awarded than I got my tower. Nikki, I hate to ask, does this trigger any flashes? Uh... As she mentions, warriors... Uh, pushing through a forest. Um, the, uh, they left some random area that looked like just more forest. They just appeared and disappeared. It was very strange. Yoto, you get a flash of a vision. Mm. 
Uh, you get a flash of a vision of a uh, a deeply wooded forest, and then all of a sudden you see a man wearing a. Uh, oh, you look at your hands, and they're all slimy for a moment. And then you look forward, and you see a a armored man uh, wearing like very interesting regalia with a crest on his chest. The same crest that Tedin's armor has. Or... It still has the Pronema marks, right? You haven't changed your armor since. Uh, It still has the Pronema marking on it, but I wear a tabard over it that has my guild symbol on it. Oh, okay. So he'd probably see it on like, my pauldrons, but not like on the chest. Yeah, so uh, is the same symbol on Tedin's pauldrons, and you see this warrior having a, a very, like nature based looking then you see a man next to him who looks like he's wearing a a mask that is of a bird and you're thinking in your head wait a minute what it that's uh make me a history check normal advantage I mean, all, all of us are just Yoda. Oh, oh, that could have been bad. Make what? Yoto, this mask you see in this weird vision is a mask that has been missing for centuries. Uh, well, at least from your knowledge, now centuries. It was lost during the war. When the guy went into the for uh, the uh, Ironwood forests to scout out and never was heard back from again, they couldn't even recover his body, his weapon, or his masks. He was one that wielded a comma that managed to that was uh, he was a man that used a, uh, a set of dual commas. <laughs> uh, one of the commas was one that was meant for mages and was. He was one of the most that was excelled at slaying mages. Uh, the bird mask. What does that represent? Yoto. Uh, doesn't even eat it. Be like the plague doctor type mask. I feel like the plague doctor mask wouldn't have been associated with the empire. I feel that like that would have been more the dominion. Eh, they never wore masks. That was all but, the Empire. Uh, I've, this is the fourth mask. It's bird related. It's It just looks like a bird. Any I mean, type. I guess it would be... Hold on. I already have the fourth, but I just want to... If I'm right. <laughs> The order is a mixture of Yoto and me. It's ideas. At least the order members. Everything else has been pretty. In fairness, in um, fairness, Edge. Very possibly, possibly he could be watching you on the ship. Well, that's if you guys spark. Well, actually. Hmm. I guess Tiden would have been looking around in specific and around the Narakov, and he could have peered into the uh, Caribbean for a bit and seeing a mountain that looks like it's to the north of the Premier of Westlands that's spewing off a strange magic. Yeah, alchemy research. Yeah. So they were. Um, this man was. Um, going through the forests in research of um, other things. So during his trip in research, he was gone. He just disappeared. It's not that he stopped. Uh, he, it was like he was just completely missing. Never existed. Anyways, for the further point of that, 
vision, you see that same man who looks like uh, wearing a, the same mask, a cloak and everything, but it's covered in leaves, and he goes up behind this knight and slices his throat with a comma, and then walks in front and greets himself, and then the vision stops. And like I said about these unsavory folk, uh, seems they are just in the forests. I don't know what they're doing. But they just started murdering knights along their path and just killing a lot of Pronima's clerics and things. And their paladins. Even some of her treants that look like angels. They have someone with them. I don't know what he's doing working with them, but he ha he he carries the mask of an order member. Oh, you would have noticed that the person wearing the mask has elf ears, and it's a dark elf like ears and uh the person who originally wore the mask was human like you if you catch them outside of the forest dispatch someone to dispatch someone to bring me the elf wearing the plague mask that is a stolen artifact of the Empire. Ah, um, will do. Uh, Tiden, do you, do you have anyone we can send for what? I might. For what exactly? Oh, uh, so I'm putting out a hit on one of the fuckers working for Viara because he has stolen artifacts of the Empire, mainly his bird mask and his weapons. It so, would uh, depend on the strength of the key. person that you would need mm -hmm. to fulfill this. I'm gonna get off here. Oh, that's fine. Uh, we're uh, gonna be ending here yeah. in a moment, so take care. Out, out of character knowledge that I can give you out of character is they are level 10. <laughs> what levels are the Death Killers? Uh, the Death Killers are about level 12, 13. Yeah, I have just the crew for it. Oh, you're gonna send those two off? There's three of them, isn't there? Uh, the third one is currently in the ice fields. Uh, she was making a round trip with Keto. Ah, the other two. Two level 12 slash 13 should be fine to handle it. Right. If I care not about the ones he travels with other than who they are employed with, if they get in the way, their life is forfeit, but, I need, but that mask and his weapons must be recovered. Although... What do I get out of doing such a thing for you? My guild is busy, as you know. I'm going... I'm going to whisper very quietly. How would you like to have a direct line of business with the Empire? The capital city. Which Empire is he talking about? The Crystal Empire. I need to look at the map to see where they are. Give me a moment. Yeah, they're technically in the de Deadlands. However, you don't know where their city, their main cities are. Yeah, I got. I, uh, I I know. They I've got a few trade routes set up as a few different places, but I gotta look at the map in order to situate my mind. So they're to the left of that place, uh, and to the right of that place. Yeah, that'd be good. Oh yeah, that's trade. right. He's a Dampierre. That's hilarious. That would be quite useful for someone of my stature. I can get you a meeting with the Empress, and if she approves, they, she might be able to have you taught the teleportation circle to access the main cities. Looks around at mirrors. I can't give you the location of the city to use here. I can... 
that. You do realize I don't have to be familiar with the place to really look at it. I could just point on the map and Levestus can just show me exactly where that would be on the surface, right? I have a rough not idea on where... the surface. Ah, that would be the issue then. But otherwise, there's no reason we just go teleporting willy nilly. Sure, this would be agreeable to me. So the contract is as follows you kill that elf motherfucker with the stolen shit. I get you a meeting and potentially access to the main cities for your guild. That works. Uh, in that case, I'll send the Death Killers as like a main thing, and as a nuke, I'll drop Grumble on the guy too. You're sending Grumble the perv? Yep. Uh... That guy's like a level 15 wizard. I know you've leveled him up with us. <laughs> oh boy. Uh... Although I suspect you my guild revenue will go down are for a hot moment. Going to hate this character. I at least Ashlale's character is gonna I'm get very here. uncomfortable. My, based on your reaction, I'm already in fear. Look, Grumble's the strongest spellcaster I know. Well, that's a fair point, but it's very funny. You know, if I could send literally anyone else, I probably would. <laughs> you know, this is kind of revenge. The Saturday party decided to fuck with the ice fields. I'm fucking with them back. <laughs> sure, I'll make sure this person is taken out. I would need to know their name and approximately I where don't... they... You don't. As of now, that as of now, they appear to be tampering in the Iron Will Forest. However, uh, are you able to use the mirrors based on physical description? Mm, to locate people, no, no, not that I know of. Uh, that would be a you can thing, use the mirrors bait. Uh, like if you give Levestus the. Uh, at least the description of the area you're trying to be, uh, and the continent, at least, he can give you, he can get you there, at least. He'll just zoom in, basically. I think he was asking about people, though. Could you locate people off a physical description of them? Um, technically, but Lovesis will have to be, will have to be familiarized, that's all. I mean, I can give you the exact details of his weapon and mask. His identifying factors. Oh. Well, if he's so identifiable, I could always have Nevera run through her networks for me. Hmm. Hmm. See if anything comes up of a dark elf wearing a plate, a, a mask in this symbolage of a bird. He would have two commas. Linked on a chain. Commas? Uh, short, tiny, sick. Oh, they're kind of like uh, mini. Uh, size. I I know what it is, Nikki. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, my brain. <laughs> Tiden would not know. <laughs> As in they the thing were... you put in the middle of a sentence. Uh. No, they were modified farming tools that our shinobi took up as weapons during the war. His, in particular, are dangerous because he figured out a way to cut people off of their magic. Hmm. Maybe not Grumble, then. If he keeps his distance, he should be fine. It only works if, it, if the weapon draws blood. I'll see what I can do. But I better get this meeting, and I would appreciate it if you put at least a decent word in for me. Maybe in May, I'm not the nicest person. But you present her with that, with the, you present her with those artifacts, and you'll have yourself, and you'll get your meeting. I, <laughs> on top of my daughter, already has relations with them. And we're on a good standing so far with my guild. 
So, I guess I would add on top of it probably more trust. Yeah, but as you know, sister, not everyone's quite been happy with my guild after I did the you know what. I mean, the, I, I, I'm pretty sure the Empire is pretty neutral on the whole gods thing. They are. They have their own things to worry about. I'm gonna head out, guys. He's getting late. I'm uh, sorry, guys. Start packing. All good. Uh, hey, good night. Jade. Good night. Uh, I guess we'll just end it here, then. Yep. Well, the main thing isn't whether the Crystal Empire uh, cares about... Specifically, Tiden want to kill gods. It's whether their allies want to be allied with someone who's allied with someone who's planning to kill the gods. Um, again, they're pretty neutral on the sus on the subject. They don't really have a stake in it. Yeah, they probably won't like send you people to assist you with it, but they'll give you resources and other things that will assist you in some way. They'll be neutral in that regard it's like switzerland we don't we're not gonna fight with you but hey you want you want some resources and guns guns i'm gonna invite ashley all to my 1v1 with deacon when that happens okay. <laughs> oh shit no he would get access to the guns fuck you Can think guns I... kill actually... gods good question here Fun fact, let me let me see if I can show you this real quick. Ah, oh, I can't, I can't. Can I put this in chat somehow? Uh what? What are you trying to put in chat? I'm trying to show you my weapon proficiencies. I got a lot more weapon proficiencies than shown here, it's just these are the main uh, ones. Uh Actually I don't have can't. that many more, but anyways, I have weapon proficiency in martial, simple, and basic firearms. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine Tethan's gun just shooting fucking claymores and warhammers that do a bajillion damage. I, in technicality. Alive. Yeah. And that's all in today's session here. Here's the main thing is uh, even if 